A world championship boxing awaits. Men's welter, under 69 kilo class. This is for the gold medal. And for the Kazakh athlete, the weight of a nation's expectation on his shoulders. We're underway. The Spaniard of Cuba in blue, Yelisinov of Kazakhstan in red. Well, we're on for a real clash here, and this is one of the final bouts that I've been looking for. 31 years of age, Arisnoides de Spagne from Cuba. What a bag full of tricks this fighter is. But he takes on Ilusinov at 22. The age difference, well, work the math for yourself. But uh, a strong, strong fighter. He's gone through this competition like a breeze. Arisnoides has set out his store. Right from the beginning, we know that this is a talented and gifted and unusual boxer. The Kazakh Southpaw, Arisnoides, orthodox but switch hits, and he has just an unusual approach. High skill level indeed, and uh, a much anticipated clash between these two. Both starting, looking to put some heat on the punches already. Referee just pointing out that uh, their feet come together and their knees clash. But just look at the exchange. And uh, the Spaniard is so low in that deep stance. Comes under the Kazakh. Lucinov really trying to work out how to handle the Spaniard. The Spaniard moving forward. Showing the kind of aggression that judges like to score on. They're playing a very, very cagey game in Lucinov. Trying to work off the counter, but uh, actually, that's where Despagne lives. Despagne controlling the center of the ring. Lucinov just happy to have a look see. Slips the right hand, goes under. Well, just over 40 seconds to go in round number one. Neither have really let loose just yet. Yusinov, famous for his work rate, right now just trying to understand uh, the beast he's up against in Despagne, who's so tricky. Yes, Despagne, really as slippery as a bag of eels. Just with all that experience at 31 years of age, still got the athleticism, and just look, able to stand in an orthodox way, but then all of a sudden he breaks into lateral movement, the like of which, actually, do you know what, I mean, I've not seen since Chris Eubank. Gets down low and deep, and then backpedals and walks, turns his body off centre, causes a problem for the Kazakh. <laughs> One of the Irish pundits called it his cool moonwalking style. It's certainly quite unusual the way he moves. Now, uh, Yelusinov, just watching the last 45 seconds there, he, uh, he barely threw a punch. Alexander Povetkin, two old foes they, they met recently. Well, let's have a little look back at what just happened in the ring. Well, again, this is going to be a bout that's probably not as interesting for the punches landed as those that slipped. And they spent a whole three minutes cat and mousing the first round. Now, El Yusinov, 10 9 uh, across the board there. The Kazakh getting given that round. The last 45 seconds, he barely threw a punch, but did enough work in the first minute and a half to get given the nod by the judges. But this is a tight contest. And uh, dancing away in the corner is the Cuban in blue, Despagne. He looks fresh as a daisy still. And we know if he puts his foot down, he can go into overdrive. So two of a scheduled three. Despagne goes to work. Kazak really trying to gauge what's coming. Despagne throws a big overhand right, but stumbles in the process. And of course, at final level, at this championship level, less about the flashy stuff. It's all about hard work. Espanya going under those shots. 
Romir Usunov. Usunov slips that punch by such a narrow margin. Absolute centimeters from the right hand of Despanier. Despanier in his bout against Gabriel Maestre of Venezuela did exactly what uh, Elusinov is doing now. Worked off the counter, slipped all the big shots coming in and scored very well when he had the opportunity after spinning off. Well, Kazos getting a little of something to cheer there. Right now it's Despania who's uh, charging down the Kazakh. Closing off the ring, Despania. Trying to bring it forward, trying to stay with his man and keep that distance close. Spania probably feels he's got the work to do. Lusinov ranked number four in the Aiba World Rankings. Spania, the Cuban national champion, took bronze at the Pan American Championships in Chile. Well, we're just under a minute left in this round. As I said, not so much about the connections as the misses. Good solid work there from Despanier. But look at that. And neither of these fighters can lay a meaningful connection on the other. It's a great display of evasive work. And this really is high level boxing. Keep your head up, says the referee. And you're loose enough, trying to turn it on here in the, the final moments of the round. Despania chucking good combinations. Doesn't particularly get through there, though. Well, Despania's been driving forward. He's been showing aggression. He's been trying to land shots on the Kazakh. I hope he gets uh, recognized for that in this round. But look at that. Unbelievable. He loosened off a man of that size. Here one minute, gone the next. Uh, it's almost uh, a little bit different than the others. It's more a contest of defense, this. Uh, both men slipping punch as well. Neither man being overly aggressive, perhaps to Spania being a little bit more on the front foot. Absolutely. Physical and mental chess. These boxers having to lock on a target that's gone in a split second. It really is elite boxing. Well, here are the judges' scores. 2018 across the board. And uh, Yolusinov right now is in uh, the commanding position. He leads on every single judge's scorecard. And that means that... Uh, Arasnoides to Spania of Cuba is going to have to come out now in the third and final round and not just beat him in a close fashion, he's going to really have to beat him. 10-8, 10-7 from uh, some of the judges perhaps to try and outscore him or even get a TKO. That is what is needed by the Cuban now and he knows it, he gets underway here. He's already thrown 10 punches in a matter of a few seconds. The Cuban in blue, the Kazakh, Elyusinov in the lead in red. Final round. Well, this has been an absolutely engaging clash. If you could stop frame all of the action here, you'd see incredible classic textbook slips, weaves. Both these fighters really at the top of their game. Good left hand goes over the top, just grazes the temple of Despagne, but he gets caught by the Kazakh. And again, a left hand from the Kazakh goes inside. Despagne just a little bit slower to get his shots off here. So, toe to toe in the center of the ring in the last round. Beautiful slip there from Despagne, catches the Kazakh with the right hand. Senev goes inside for the uppercut, brings the right hand round. So in this third and final round now, both fighters setting their stall out and going to work. Watch the head, says the referee. Keep your head up to both of them. So just a minute and a half less to go in this final round. Spania started at a cracking pace. He's slowed up a little now. Starting to land shots now. 
Yelusinov. Despagne throwing the shots, hitting the arms and the gloves. Despagne really hunting him down, but getting caught in the process. Big right hand, and now we're seeing the magic of the Kazakhstan boxer backpedaling and playing Despagne at his own game. And what a show of defiance here from Elusinov. Backpedaled with that unorthodox style that Despagne uses. As if to say to the Cuban, I could do it too. Gun shield out. The president of Kazakhstan has joined the proceedings here at Mr. Nursultan Nazarbayev, which uh, just adds a, a whole extra zip to the young Kazakh's performance here. Elyusinov, can he give something special in the last 15 seconds? Not just for the fans, but for his president now. Well, look, what a moment for the president to arrive to see Elyusinov dancing in the ring and out dancing a man who's known for incredible footwork, Ariznoides Despagne. Just magnificent. Elusinov, he didn't dominate the way he did in all of the other fights. Of course, this is the World Championship final. The Cuban Despagne put up his best in that third round. And I don't think it's enough. Well, Despagne just couldn't land the shots cleanly. It was a great demonstration of elusive boxing. And his big cheers for the president who has joined the proceedings, Mr. Nursultan Nazarbayev, president of the Republic of Kazakhstan. And uh, what an atmosphere here. The Klitschko brothers, the president, and indeed six Kazakh fighters in the World Championship Finals. And another one has taken a world title across the board, 3-0. Winner by unanimous decision. Well done to Kazakhstan once again. Gold medalists at this World Championship. Mr. Timur Kolabaya, president of the Kazakhstan Boxing Federation, and Aiva, the vice president, will be giving out the medals. And Mr. Valery Rajkov, world champion from 1978, will be giving out the flowers. Here are the athletes, the podium finishers in the men's welter. Medals given out at world championship level for the losing semi finalists. Maestre of Venezuela, Gabriel Maestre. It was a big Venezuelan team and they're happy to go away with the bronze. Arik Maruchan of Germany gets the other bronze and what an absolute slugger he was. He put up a great semi final against Elusinov of Kazakhstan. The Cuban, Arisnoida de Spania, silver medalist. He just turned up not looking as fresh as he had done in the semis and quarters. And he was beaten by Daniel Elyusinov of Kazakhstan. The Asian champion becomes the world champion. And once again...